Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. Last time it's a bit long but here we are. Trying to defeat the bio drones in life. Isn't that right? We still have visibility of this bio drone somehow. Not quite sure how but we do have it. And I'm just not going to complain. Fine, I'm not going to complain. I want Jolly to molecular control this. Thank you Jolly. It is so nice being able to control these. There's that tri scene. And the soft next to it. Alan up there. We're going to get that guy up again. He was good. It's another chance for the heavy nasal gunner to prove himself, eh? And fail! Seriously, he's not. <laughs> he can't molecular control a fly. Useless! Useless heavy nasal gunner! But one day we will be going nasal, and I can assure you. Wow, there's a huge collection of enemies. Well, let's start killing them. Oh, just run off! Like so. That'll work. Please provoke reaction fire. Okay, don't. It's called a hug. It works. Now, run over here, bio drone. Pick up another tri scene. There are tons of them. It's a good thing we have uh, stun rounds on hand because they are the only thing really effective against such large targets. Although, I think considering rounds work against them quite well. Now, that's Reapers in the original game. Okay, I want Jolly to see if he can perform some additional molecular controls. Actually, we'll use Soup and Claw first. Oh, there's a civilian. Hello, civilian. Hello, second civilian. Hug! Everyone's a little bit ticked off there now. And I don't... <laughs> it's a shame we can't backstab the dinosaur, but that's the case, unfortunately. We do, however, have someone who's able to get into position next turn for a good backstab. So bring down the house, naughty bookworm. Alright. Hydrophobe, let's see if there's any more people over here. Aliens, rather. So far, so good, though. We do seem to have eliminated a large concentration of the aliens just because they all were so dangerous and so lurking around, but we got into them quick smart with the power of molecular control. So. That should take care of itself. I forgot about the displacer. Oh. Explosion! Although apparently when an alien gets taken out by another alien, it doesn't cause an explosion. Go figure. Alright, well we need to regain visibility of the area. Where is our displacer? Oh, there it is. There we are! Visibility re-established. That's the good thing about having an air unit. You can just run in there and swoop down. We're basically using molecular control to take out the whole Terrasite, which is very nice. Okay, well, that's the enemy tri scene detected. I'll give it a pot shot, just, just to soften it up a bit. Here's a nice pot shot. Nice budget. Okay. 
Well, the Hydrophobe shall continue his advance. Now, the fact that there's a living civilian there implies that there's no aliens there. That's right, living civilians. They're not just alive, they're living. Their lives have been engaged to the fullest. Man, I'm making good English sentences today. Yes, one day you might learn how to speak good like I do. That's a bit in movement, though. Tosoft's clear- sorry, the Tricene's clearing up that Tosoft very nicely. Exactly as I intended. The Hydrophobe is performing a good- good reconnaissance operation. Just need to be careful, there's another living civilian there. Now, Displacer, can you redetect the Tricene? Yes, you can. Thank you. Now we shall have our good friend, the Naughty Bookworm, perform some naughtiness with his little thermal shock launcher. Immediately taking out that enemy there, next to the top secret XCOM secrets. Gotta watch out for those boxes of XCOM secrets, they get everywhere. We do know there's another Tri-Scene around. There it is. That was a good shot. Ooh, how we need to get our naughty bookworm into position to take out the other one. Not enough time units, isn't that a bit sad? I'd also like to perform an exploration of this area here. We did meet Lucky Lucky Tribe, the guy on the top floor, but there could be more. The guy taking a pot shot at my displacer. I don't like that sort of thing. He did no damage to it. Wow. Take that! The ground was severely damaged by that attack. That ground will never dare face us again. And we're like totally ready to attack next turn. That's good, isn't it? Next turn we might actually be effectual there. Okay, we can see that Tri-Scene for sure. How about over here? I'm gonna take that as a yes. That's right, the Tri-Scene's still there. Well, let's go and get you healed at least. Tooth and Claw. Molecular Control, the dinosaur. No, just run out quickly. Now, Chemical Flare Man. I want you to move up here and take the shot. Cat's interfering. Thank you, Chemical Flare Man. And how many fatal wounds has our noble... Jaro Slaw G man caught. Three fatal wounds. Well, you're running back for healing, aren't you? No. No calls. The cat didn't interrupt, so Mum thought that I'd inter interrupt as well. <laughs> a conspiracy to file the recording. Don't destroy it. Okay. Displacer Sonic has taken a little bit of a beating now. Fortunately, repairs are instantaneous if it survives. Well, it didn't kill it! Nose! We need more damage! I thought they meant to be a one-hit KO. And it's really glitched out above the ground. And it can't shoot for crud! Okay, Hydrophobe. Oh, you've already used a grenade. Aim shot it to death. It didn't work! Fine. Let's deal with one thing at a time. Tooth and Claw, running up to our good friend, that man there, and healing. Magic Mystic Healing succeeds. Now if he survives the mission, he will not die. Okay, that, that door just glitched there. 
Now we could be lucky and that dinosaur's the last thing. So what we'll do is we'll call it a video and when we come back, we'll find out.